Hi everyone, Caroline here. Um, today uh, I'm going to do um, a little bit of uh, work with the Imala embossing folders, the fabulous embossing folders. The two I'm working on today is the uh, Renaissance wallpaper. You can see the lovely design on that, which is this one. It's the the embossing is is fabulous, very very three D. They're fantastic. Um, embossing folders these are. The other one is Moroccan Decor and that's that's that design uh, that's one I'm going to do with the uh, black if you can see that but we'll have a bit of fun now with the uh, and what you can do with these lovely embossing folders. Uh, right first I'm going to start with the uh, a white one as I've done. Uh, just going to cut the edges off so I get it exactly to the size of the embossing folder. My little um, cutting platform is from Stamps By Me. You go on the How To Craft Network. Um, you can get one of these, they're very handy. Very handy. So it's getting your big one out when you've only got something small to do. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to be using, just for this one, um, put the light on just in case it's a bit dark. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, uh, Distress Oxide Salty Ocean. Now, um, and my lovely Imala brush. These are fantastic brushes. And when I uh, put it on my brush like this, I'm not going to go straight on to, uh, to my... Uh, my embossed card I'm going to take off some of it onto there so, so I don't have all that ink on my on my uh, brush and I'm just going to very gently go over and by taking off all that excess ink gives you a more pastel look can you see that check you can see that okay so it just gives it that little bit more of a pastel look and stops it being dark. You can always go on the edges as well and do the edges of your card like that. Like that. Okay. Now, um, now the magic I'm going to use now <laughs> is... Uh, is the eyes ink uh, diamond paste these are gorgeous and they've got all glittering but they give a fantastic effect and again these are available from stamps by me on the how to craft network and I'll leave uh, links in my video for anybody wanting to get these and just a simple tissue that's all we want and we want to squeeze some of this just onto a bit of card. I do this rather than my glass mat because it can stick onto your glass mat and sometimes if it dries on it's hard to get off. So we're just what we're going to do is we're just going to dab in that very lightly. And then from the side we're just going to drag it over it like that. Just takes that bit of glitter and colour over. If you turn it round, just get your side coming in and just swipe it across like that. And you can see that effect now. How beautiful that is. Gorgeous, isn't it? And it does dry very quickly. So, um, you know, you, you can get on with your projects. And I'll, uh, I'll show you a different one. And if you don't want to put colour on, you 
you can just do it with your, your glitter. Just squeeze a little bit uh, again. Squeeze a little bit out onto some card. I've just got a bit stuck in, I'll soon get rid of that. Sometimes they go a bit hard on the edge. It's not for coming out, is it? Oops. I've got a blob there. It goes such a long way, this stuff, it really does. I've had mine ages and I've keep using and using and using and now with the gold swipe across on just a plain white look at that isn't that gorgeous Beautiful is that for a background? Gorgeous, isn't it? That's the gold one. I'm going to show you on black, but for this one, I'll just get rid of this. I'm going to use a copper because this is the um, uh, copper one. Hoover, they're all in French. Hoover, I think that says. But uh, just going to pop a little bit on my paper there. You can see that, okay? Yeah. Again, get a tissue. Because these you can just throw away when you've uh, when you've used it. Can you see that? What a fabulous effect that is on your emboss embossing folders. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Can you move this paper? Oh, Got that to one side. So you've got um, those two designs just with the just with the glitter, and uh, if you've got the eyes ink pearly. I just used um, one of the colours, which I think was the, uh, just have a look which colour it was, it was this one, the Eyes Ink Pearly, and that's the Sunlight, Sunlight one, and that's given that effect very much like gold on black, and um, And this was a, a done, one done with a blue, one of the eyes ink blues. And uh, I don't know if you're a, a member of the How to Craft Network. If you are and you go on Create and Craft, they've got the free um, embossing folder for the for members. You can go and claim your embossing folder, your free embossing folder, which is the white rose one. I'll show you that one. It's beautiful. 
beautiful one and I've done that with a copper on black as well so they do make really beautiful backgrounds just something different to do and um, I did the the blue one with the um, the blue azure uh, on this one and, and put a bit of backing card on as well and um, and that can go on my card like that on there and from the um, Imala stamp again available on the How to Craft Network little things I stamped and cut out the butterfly on here and it also has the sentiment enjoy little things and I coloured up again using my um, I think pearl pearly and my my diamond glitter on this to make a beautiful butterfly that can go on there and the sentiment enjoy little things so you know these backgrounds just make fabulous backgrounds don't they these with these um, embossing folders anyway I hope you've enjoyed that uh, little tutorial on using the embossing folders or any embossing folders you've got um, uh, and if you do want these by iMala uh, then you know uh, go and get some while you can and uh, thanks very much for watching if you've enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up and um, feel free to share on anywhere that you're allowed to share uh, share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.